This is a DIY five point star soldering kit. It's another one of my AliExpress purchases, but I thought it would be a fun little surface mount soldering kit to practice on today. So let's take a look inside and see what we get. So here's our instruction sheet, as usual, in a language I can't read, but it tells us what parts we should have, including some 22 ohm resistors, 33K resistors, 47K resistors, and 100K resistor, capacitor, an IC, a transistor, and 20 LEDs, along with what I assume are the two wires. We have the little diagram here showing what all of that will look like in a schematic form although I don't think we'll need to refer to that to assemble the board, hopefully. Here is our tiny little PCB, and it is double-sided here. So what I think I might end up doing is actually doing all of the LEDs first, because once they're in place, of course, I can still have this sit nice and flat. And then if I do this second side, some of these may not help it sit quite so flat due to the potentially different heights of the components, whereas of course all of the LEDs here will be the same height. Okay, so I've just sorted out the resistors. Here is my 22, my 33K, and hopefully these are my 47Ks, and this will be my 100K. We also have our capacitors just here, although apparently we actually only need one. Again, we have two transistors. Again, hopefully we only need one. And there, of course, is our IC. These are our LEDs, and you can see them in the packaging just here. Now, this particular kit is supposed to be blue, so these should all be the same color. And I'm just gonna go ahead and begin installing all of these on the board. So I'm just turning on my soldering iron, and I've decided to use a fine point tip this time, just to see how that works out for me. So we do have our LEDs here, and hopefully you'll be able to make out there is a small marking on the back to indicate the polarity. But of course, we can always double check that by using a multimeter, and I'm just gonna try that now. So I'm just switching this to the diode test mode. And there we go. So positive on this side here, negative, on the bottom. And as you can see, these are indeed blue LEDs. So positive was on the right there. So if I go ahead and pick up the LED, we can look, it flows positive to negative. Again, we can get the magnifying glass there and hopefully you can just make that out on the back. Of course, there is equally an arrow on the board for each of the LED positions, and we need to make sure that we follow those. Okay, so I'm reasonably happy with that. What I think I'm gonna do is go and tin uh, one side of all of these pads, and then I will go through and just quickly try and pop in those LEDs. Okay, so certainly not the tidiest work there, but all of the LEDs look to be connected as far as I can see. I'm sure we'll find out shortly if I got any of them around the wrong way. So on this side of the board, I'm gonna start with the IC because it's in the center, and then we'll start putting in the rest of the components. So the IC has a little dimple in the top right there. Hopefully that's coming across on the camera, but that little dimple should align with the little indent we see on the PCB here next to the U1, so the chip will go up this way. So 
So I've just tacked the chip in place with one pin and we'll go ahead and do the rest of them. Okay, so next I'm gonna put in one of these transistors. So they've given us two here, but um, we only need one for this build as far as I can see. So let's pop that in. So next we have a 22 ohm resistor. So I don't know if you can make that out. Yeah, hopefully you can see 22R. And next we have a 33, uh, sorry, 33K resistor. So that's 333. Okay. So then we have three 47K resistors that go around here. Okay, now we have our 100K resistor. So I didn't show you on the other ones, but this one's 104, hopefully you can see. And you can see an example of the 473s, hopefully on the top right there. Okay, and then finally a 47 microfarad capacitor, and we have two capacitors here. So the capacitors are unmarked, but we can go ahead and install one, as there's only one to install. So that appears to be all of the components soldered. So it's described here as a pentagram breathing lamp. I don't know if you can make that out there. It's a slightly different description than on the box or bag. Um, I have two wires here, which we are going to want to attach. Okay, and this is marked BC five volts. So what we should now try and do is test this out. So I have a power supply just out of the camera's viewpoint here. And what I'm going to do is make sure it's set to an appropriate level. Red to red. And black to black. Let's see what is happening. So, so far, absolutely nothing, which is a bit of a bad sign. So let's disconnect for a second. So we definitely have positive to the right direction. The chip appears to be soldered. Everything looks reasonable on this side. And this one is marked here positive to negative. So let's go ahead and grab our multimeter again. and make sure that we have these in the right way around. And there we go. So they're all lighting up with positive to negative. So all the LEDs appear to be in place correctly. So it's not this side of the board that's at fault. So what's gone wrong on this side here? Maybe there is a problematic joint. Okay, so I think that is everything reflowed. So let's try this power supply one more time. So we're still getting nothing. Now I've actually got the power supply set to 4.5 volts. I'm actually gonna bump it to six and see if that works. And we did get a brief flash there. And I think actually the only issue was not getting quite enough voltage, because now I've put it up to six volts. So uh, in case you're wondering, I'm using my old Maplin style supply here with some fixed available voltage levels. I could use the adjustable one, which is maybe what I should have used, but I wasn't sure what this was gonna need. So it's possible that there was nothing wrong with that and it didn't need reflowing at all, just a little bit more voltage. So yeah, this is working absolutely fine on six volts. 
Okay, so I hope you found this video about the LED pulsing surface mount star interesting, and I hope to speak to you again soon in the next one.